Recently I've been playing around with this thought. What if 4k oversights are actually better than runners? In the current meta, there's barely any deck that runs it out against 4k oversizes. In this video, we will calculate the chance of finding an out against 4k oversizes and level 1 4k oversizes. So to find out what the odds are, we first need to seal a couple of level 0 lineups from people. We're taking my AOT list that I took to Worlds, the Sorted list that Kun won BCS London with, the Fate list that Kit took to Worlds, the Standby Goblin Slayer list that Wild Bob Weiss wrote a very extensive article about, Nondo's Elicization list, the ReZero list that Christian Jabacher qualified with, the Standby Bunny Girl list from Boats and Sync, and the Konosuba list that Ryan got third place on Worlds with. Okay, so we assume the following. The Deep opponent draws 11 cards. 5 from the starting hand, 3 from the average mulligan of 3 cards, and 3 from drawing and clocking. In AOT's case, the only out they have to uh, 4k oversize on the sides is by drawing a 2-5 body and a 2k1 climax. So you calculate that like this. So I figured writing it all out took way too much space. So I just wrote it down as a sum. But this is just one combination. However, TCG Tools now is an option. You can just insert 50 cards in deck. We draw 11 cards. Uh, we don't need to fill in the card names. You can just say there's 11 outs. We need at least one. There's four thank yous and we need at least one. Calculate. Bam. 60.92%. Right. Forgot this. Shameless plugs aside though, I decided to make a script that does everything for me, including the mulligans, so that we don't need to assume anything like mulligan 3. So now we keep every level 0 and keep every level 1 climax combo. I could have implemented better mulligan logic in there, but honestly that would be a pain. <laughs> I collected all the outs that every set has on the slides. I won't go through all of them because frankly it will probably just bore you guys to hell, so check them out in the description below. Or don't. It seems like level 0 4k oversizes aren't in a very good position at the moment due to fate running around with their suiciders, but at least against AOT and SEO, it will usually force your opponent to trade a climax for it, which is still a very good trade. Level 1 oversizes, on the other hand, are in a better position. It seems like against most matchups, a level 1 oversize on sites will at least force your opponent to trade a climax for it, and even then it would be pretty unlikely for them to rid it. It performs a lot worse in the middle though against AOT and Bunny Girl. So overall, I think 4k oversizes are always a little bit risky. This is because if your opponent runs even just one copy of a 4k oversize as an out to your 4k oversize, they will already have a 20% chance to kill it. This makes it so that relying on a 4k oversize plus is very risky. Especially level 0 4k oversizes are currently in a pretty bad position because of fate, but it is still very possible that your opponent won't have an out to it. There's also the point that 4k oversizes aren't as good against level 1 reverse combos as runners for example. However, they are still relevant on level 1 due to being high power, so each has their pros and cons. What I personally took from this is that it might be smart to just stack one oversize, just to be able to rid the opponent's oversize. I'm planning to make more of these level 0 videos, or for example mill runners and the Megamine oversize, so make sure to subscribe if you're interested in that. Don't forget to download TCG Tools, I really think it's a very useful tool, and make sure to check out these deck profiles that I use. They're really good decks, and I think their profiles provide really good insights on it. Thanks for watching, see you next time.